So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines, all right? So all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine Hunty, you can go ahead and get at because this reading right now is not for you, all right? <clears throat> Let us go ahead and jump right into it, you all. Let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for you on today. <clears throat> weather change is still getting to me a little bit so i'm still sorting through that all right so excuse it in advance let us see thank you spirit we have door to romance in reverse okay we have the thinking man in reverse okay already getting it <clears throat> and <clears throat> we have caring connections so your person is thinking that you have closed the door to them now for some of them it could be because they are going through some things this person feels like or this is <clears throat> them feeling like you just don't see the value in the connection anymore this person feels like they're hoping and praying that you still have love for them in the same way but they're not sure if you do okay but let's see all right let's get into it <clears throat> messages from this person to you Okay. Well, some of these things don't want to go in. This one wants to stand up. Your warmth radiates through your soul. I can feel your presence even though we are apart. Okay. This person is something about the sun. They feel like you are connected to the sun source. All right. So whenever the sun is shining, you are present. Okay. Maybe the person hasn't been seeing or feeling much of that lately. Yeah, we have the blank card here. So they haven't been seeing or feeling much of your energy lately. All right. I feel tired of hiding my true feelings from you. I lack courage to come back to you. So this person wants to see if that door is still open, but they're not sure if it's still open. I can't stop thinking about what we had now. Let's look deeper into the situation. Why is this person feeling this way? Something must have happened, right? As to where they're like, uh, is it possible for me to return? Okay, let us see. What's going on here? What are the messages? Okay. <clears throat> Legal. Nightlife. Magnetic. So this person could have had some things that they just couldn't stop doing. Okay, some habits. That caused you to separate yourself from this person, okay? They feel like, well, it's other people involved and it's not that simple. In the very near future, they're going to be coming toward you to, in attempts to compromise or come in some sort of agreement to settle something. Yeah, they're coming toward you. This person could be moving, okay? Again, they could feel like you don't want to deal with them because of some issues that they're going through financially they could have been going through some legal issues okay something going on with their home or something that's attached to their banking or credit or something like that okay <clears throat> something that's attached to the government okay in some ways person could have been going through something but we have on the table offer proposal commitment okay so again is this door still open you're like how there's so many other things going on for for this person blue all right so let us see what is really happening here again Whatever they're going through could have dealt with someone else, okay? Karmic lesson, karmic cycle, something that was happening. This person feels like because of that, you may not want to welcome them back, okay? That's what I'm getting. It's the only thing that would make sense, right? So let us see. <clears throat> we have the arrow master, all right? So again, this person has intentions on being with you but a lot of you are detached okay or they have intentions on returning okay the spirit whisperer divine guidance higher knowing so spirit is guiding them towards you spirit is telling them to be optimistic because the desert prince is all about survival and someone who may say something to you but they're not able to deliver this may be how you're looking at it you look at it like this person gives false promises or they say one thing and do something else. But with the rainbow prince, this is compensation and perseverance. So everything that they said they were going to do but didn't do, 
is about to happen. That's what I'm getting. It says positive expectations and clarity. Yep. Okay. So everything that they said they were going to do that they didn't do is about to happen. All right. We have sisters of the seasons. Yes. Yeah, so cycles of growth, natural law, and divine order. There was something this person was going through. Reflection, non-judgment. Okay. Now keep in mind, this is your divine counterpart. Don't judge them is what I'm getting from that. Like, don't be so harsh with this person because they were going through something. All right. <clears throat> And they could really use a friend. I see partnerships and alliances in reverse as they're healing from whatever situation they went through. Okay. Let us see. We have truth in reverse. Yeah, so this person may not have been 1,000% honest with you about these things. Patience. Okay. This is divine timing. Again, sisters of the seasons. Okay. Divine law, divine order. We have sacral chakra, which is confident self-belief. Okay willpower we have base chakra which is stability okay also with that sacral chakra romance so again it's kind of hard to pay attention to romance if i don't feel stable it's kind of hard to tend to that if i don't feel stable so that could have been what's, what was going on person couldn't tend to the relationship if they felt they weren't stable now that they're in a better place they can deliver on some promises Okay, yeah, foundation and achievements. Exactly. Now that they're in a better place, they can deliver on some promises. Yeah, material harvest. Thank you, spirit. All right, so this person has received the harvest that they were waiting on. So again, now they can go ahead and do certain things that you've been waiting on them to do. All right, we have pre-shuffled the lovers here. Okay, five of wands. So there were things, okay, others involved, other situations, whatever. There were things, but it didn't stop anything not stopping anything okay we have the high priestess here and it wanted to flip itself in reverse so something is coming out something is being exposed to you about this relationship or about this connection this person wants to commit themselves to you but there were so many other things you're the emperor you're masculine there were so many other things they were dealing with and going through all right but they've been divinely protected divinely guided to still move forward with this okay so I know it doesn't make any logical sense, right? Yeah, we have the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is being determined to stand up and fight for this connection. Again, logically speaking, just as someone who has sense, that makes sense. If you're in a place where you feel like you're going through so many different things, it's just not the time to move forward with whatever, right? However, once that is over and done with, now you can move forward. So it's something like that for sure, for sure going on. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, okay? They're able to do now what they weren't able to do before, okay? Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. So they just want you to hmm, allow them that opportunity because the Four of Pentacles is them holding on to you, but also everything that they were saving up for or in whatever way you are holding back, they're going to put in that action to get you to invest in them or see that you're not just waiting just to be waiting, okay? You're perseverance shall be compensated okay the rainbow prince that's what i feel five of wands they dealt with a lot of things okay i'm just gonna keep saying that that five of wands comes with a lot okay <clears throat> i feel like this blank card also goes with this high priestess energy okay because i feel like these two energies together are like just knowing without knowing the person didn't have to say anything to you you just knew all right, Ten of Cups, this looks like that rainbow compensation, right? <laughs> rainbow Prince, uh, Harmony, okay, that's what I take it as. Bliss, Harmony, Heaven on Earth, Happily Ever After, okay? Those are the energies. And then we have Fertility, Empress. So this person knows that you're their person. They know you're their soulmate. They think of you all the time. All right, we have the magician here. They're aiming to manifest you back or aiming to get you to see where they're coming from or at least, like I said, give them the opportunity to prove themselves. Yeah, we have the Ten of Wands and the Strength card with the King of Swords. So this is truth. This is um, direction, guidance. All right, so somebody knowing exactly what they want to do, doing it, sticking to it. This is someone that puts what makes sense over what feels good you know they just they no matter how difficult you know and that takes true strength you know just because something isn't favorable doesn't mean it's not what should be done so yeah that's somebody's truth like i said knight of swords they know what the truth is you know no matter how heartbreaking or whatever they just had to deal with what they had to deal with they had to sort what they had to sort and there's no way around it yeah we have the sun card but you are this person's bliss. You are their joy, their happiness. 
and they feel like their happiness is gone. You know, it's like ain't no sunshine when she's gone. You know, there's <laughs> no sunshine when she's gone. <laughs> no sunshine right now, okay? Lord. Okay, so let us see, you guys. I mean, it's not really much to see. Yeah, food card. They're wanting a brand new beginning with you. That's pretty much it, okay? Angel number 111, positive vibes only. Spirit wants for you to think good things about your connection, about your person. All right, only allow for yourself to feel good, okay? Because this person does want to come through and <clears throat> be with you in a way where you're not expecting because like i said false promises something here about false promises okay one day at a time and nothing has changed i love you still all right they love you feminine so i thank god for making you okay busted baby no i'm just kidding <laughs> my intentions with you have always been genuine do you believe me I feel like you do. It's too many signs. Yeah, there isn't anyone who could love me the way that you do. Inseparable. Okay? March, April, May could be significant. Could be when you met each other. Oh, during spring. Beautiful. Could be someone's birth month. Okay, anniversary. Something significant took place. The love I have for you is different. I care for you in a way I've never cared for others. You matter to me. So this could be someone who's oftentimes self-centered and only thinks about them or yeah we have the thinking man in reverse they may not really think about others too often but they think about you all right angel number 555 major shifts a lot it may also be easy for them to get over people but they want to make new memories with you that's what i just saw all right so i am ready for whatever comes next on our journey of love Okay, and we can give this another try if that is what you want to do. Is that what you want? All right, so right back to where we were, angel number 111, positive vibes only. So that's what this person feels like they ever get from you. It's like they only ever get positive vibes. You know, that's it. You don't ever give them any negativity. You don't ever make them feel like they have to fight, you know what I mean, or do the most or any of that. Okay, it's just always love. All right, always bliss, always joy. <clears throat> yeah, pre-shuffle, we have getaway. Okay, so they definitely want to okay, get a room on the other side of town. Okay. <laughs> this is an intellectual convo starter. All right, like I said, king of swords, emperor. All right, I love that for you. They definitely know how to stroke your brain. Okay. Yeah, money concerns. They could have been going through something because... They had a lifestyle or habits or whatever that they were supporting. And that's okay because if you're going to do something, at least be able to support it, child. We have February, all right, several streams of income, okay. We have the number 14, 22, 8, 26, or 18, three or more people, okay. Initials V, X, T, Z, and R, okay date nights okay june and big ego all right i get that because the emperor is in a challenge position so i definitely feel like this person has some sort of ego with them okay let us see let's get more on this uh emperor <laughs> give us more on this emperor and why it's in this position this person likes to watch you a lot they sit back and observe just to see how you handle things. Again, in the event that this person says something and let's say whatever they say doesn't come to pass or is not able to happen, you're not flipping off the handle. Like, yeah, Six of Pentacles, you make this person feel good. Okay, it's the best way to put it. Yeah, we got the Eight of Cups. Okay, so they feel like they have to put more into the relationship though. Yeah, with their lover. They have to put more in. They have to give reciprocity in order for you to not move on, not withdraw emotionally. This is their discernment on the situation. This is what they know. Yeah, so we got the seven of swords. Like, if I don't do something, ten of swords is going to be over. Right? So, it may not be that they're keeping from you what you think they're keeping from you. 
but there are things that you don't know and will soon right like there's this intuitive knowing but not a physical knowing as in this person said to you hey yeah x y and z but a high priestess doesn't need that you just go off of what you know right <laughs> so yeah let us see we have the seven of wands i'm interested to know what that's about they're going to stand up and fight for you or show you that they're determined in some way yeah four of wands see this is what they want I mean, double emphasis on that. They want the foundation and achievements energy with you. They want to feel like this is something that they created, something that they built up with someone that they love. Okay, a stable connection, a stable relationship, um, something that they're proud of, something that's healthy. Okay, let us see. We have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, something that they created. Okay, they want to be a part of that. So it's given three of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, Hierophant, something they can be proud of. Okay. A union, a marriage, a partnership that they can be proud of. Okay, so let us see. Again, wondering, is this still an option? King of Swords. Because of the way everything has gone, Nine of Wands, I understand why you have your guard up. Okay, I understand why you want to be at a distance. So I have to put in that extra work. You guys can expect an apology. Page of Cups. Okay. Let us see. The Sun and the Hermit. Yeah, four of cups, they're all sad. Seven of cups, they keep fantasizing about you and having dreams about you. Something's been revealed to them. Yeah, this person feels like you're not going to wait. You're not going to wait as they sort something out or figure something out. That's what they're seeing. That's what they're getting. That's what they know. That's what's come to their awareness. Again, ain't no sunshine when she gone. So either this is what I'm going to do or I'm not going to do it and she going to move on. You know, that's the option. All right. She, he, they. Put yourself wherever you go. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse. King of Swords in reverse. See, if I don't speak my truth, if I don't live in my truth, then things can go a completely different way for me. I'm closing the door to value. I'm closing the door to romance. That is the sacral chakra and the root chakra. Is it not? So I'm closing those doors. Now, I can do it on my own, but then that's going to be very burdensome. That means that any connection that I get into, yes, I'm an emperor, but I'm going to have to do it on my own. As opposed to it being an emperor and an empress who can both hold their own, and then those doors remain open. It's no back and forth, back and forth, closing and opening, closing and opening. Because <laughs> as emperor and empress, we got this. All the way in the bag, ten of pentacles, ten of cups. You have both of them in the reading, and they typically pop out in the readings, right? Both of them. So this offer is coming in from this person. This is, I feel like, a truth that they have accepted. Like I said, something has come to their awareness. Okay, it just is what it is. We have healing and love. So can we heal this love? That's what they want to know. Okay. Can we heal the connection? Positive vibes only. So harvest and grace. Okay. Grace says, grace, blessing, come to me. Come to me to set me free, okay? As the waves of the ocean are infinite, as the trees in the forest grow tall, let my work now bring me to harvest. I am ready to receive my all, okay? Let us see. One more. Woo! That's a lot. Romance tried to jump out. Trust, okay? So it is like you can trust this romance, okay? Again, door to romance. So, you know, are you going to open the door again? That's where we were in the beginning. That's where we are now. Abundance. Goddess of abundance divine. Let me thrive. Let fortune be mine. Okay. So this is a very abundant, prosperous union. Okay. Inspiration. Um, the things that you guys are going to create. It did say several streams of income. The things that are going to be there. Romance. Date night. Several streams of income. Yeah, I'll take it. Sign me up. Right. The lovers. <laughs> sign anybody up Shit. all right that's what they want so let us see we have if you could do anything what would it be see what i'm saying the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul mm -hmm. it is important to take a step back right now all right and reflect give each other some space allow each other to breathe and really figure out what it is that you want to do with this connection okay yeah, see, Twin Flames, your passion ignites. And it says, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. You see, wait. Don't rush into it just because they want you to open this door. See what they're going to prove. Or is it going to be more false promises or are they actually going to do something? 
a message for you, okay? I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Aww. So if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hugs. Look at this beautiful twin flame. <laughs>